Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a portal that allows you to teleport into other games. So, let's just get right into it. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is open up Explore and Properties, so you can find that under the View tab on the top left of your screen, and they are just right there, so make sure you click them open. And then after that, what we need is an actual portal, so I'm just going to quickly create one. So this is my teleport portal, uh, as you can see, um, it's pretty basic. Obviously, you can make yours look a lot nicer than just a square box. Um, but the important thing to note is that you have one part here that is going to be your teleport part. So when the player touches this part, that is when we're going to teleport them into a different game. Just make sure that you have that as like a part of your portal. So in my case, that is this light blue thing over here. And then what you want to do after that is just like drag and click all of your parts of your portal. And then you can press Control G on your keyboard, or you can come up here, right click, and then press group as a model. And that will create a new model with all of your parts. And then let's just name this model into teleport. And then what you wanna do is open up your portal. And then uh, these are your parts that you have that are part of the portal. You want to find the part that is the part that you want the players to touch to teleport them. So that my case, that is going to be this part right here. And we're just going to rename that to the teleport part. And then what we can do is click the plus and enter in a script. And we'll name this thing the teleport handler. So I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. And you can now write what I write. So first, we're going to start out with some variables. So local teleport service equals to game colon get service. And inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and we're going to get the teleport service. After that, we're going to write local players equals to game colon get service. And then this time in the brackets, we're going to put quotation marks and we're going to write players. So what these two lines of code do is they just get the services we need for our teleport script to run. So next thing we need is our game ID. This is the game we're going to teleport the players into. So local game ID equals to and we're just going to like set it to nil for now uh, we will come back to that later um but just know that we're going to need a set of numbers here which is going to be your game id the next thing we need is a debount so local db which is going to stand for debounce equals to true and then finally we're going to go down the line and then we need to reference our teleport part so local teleport part equals to script.parent so once we have our variables done, we can now work on the teleport part. So we can go down two lines and we're going to now write the teleport part. So this is going to be a teleport part dot touched con connect function. We're going to put in brackets inside the brackets. We're going to write hit, go out one and go down the line. And then we're going to write if hit and hit dot parent con find first child inside the brackets. We're going to put in quotation marks. And we're going to write humanoid with a capital H. And then we're going to go down a line. So what we've done here is when something touches our teleport part, we're going to check if it's a character that hit it. And all characters have this thing called a humanoid. So we're just going to check if they have a humanoid inside them. And if they do, then we will continue on with the code. So the next step is to check if the D bounce is true. So that's simply if DB then. And then we can go down a line. So if db is true, then we can just set db to false. So db equals to false and go down lines. And so now we need to get the player that touched our teleport part. So local player equals to players with the capital P right there. Uh, colon get player from character. And in this case, our character is going to be hit dot parent. And after that, go down line and we're going to write teleport service colon teleport. And inside the brackets, we're going to write game ID, comma, and then space. And then we're going to put in player. And after that, we're going to go down one more line. We're going to write DB equals to true. So what we've done here is after we've checked that a character has touched our teleport part, uh, we're going to set our debounce to false. This just ensures that uh, the teleport can't be spammed. And then we're just going to teleport our player to our game ID. Now we need a game ID to work with. Now the way to do this is you actually need to uh, have your game opened on the Roblox website page. So for example, if this is the game I want to teleport players into, 
um, just make sure you have it open on the Roblox page and then go into the URL of your game. And then after www.roblox.com slash games, there should be a set of numbers. That is your game ID. So you just want to copy that set of numbers right there. Go back into your script and then replace nil with your game ID. Now, the very last thing we need to do to make all of this work is go under the home tab, click on game settings, and then go into permissions and then make sure that your game is public because teleports only work in a real game inside of Roblox. And then go into security and then go down into allow third party teleports. Just make sure that that is enabled and then press save. And then make sure that you save to Roblox and then you publish to Roblox because the only way to test out if a teleport works is through the actual Roblox client. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the actual game of Roblox. That is my teleport portal. And if I just walk right into the portal, uh, it's going to wait just a little bit. And then it's going to teleport me straight into the Roblox game that I wanted to teleport into. If you're getting an error message, like the place you are teleported is restricted, um, that may be because you don't have access to this place. Uh, so just make sure that the place you're trying to teleport is another public Roblox game. But yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.